can't ski anymore. You know, <laughs> yeah. My knees can't take it. Yeah, my ankles can't take it. <laughs> yeah, but boy, think about it though. That is pretty. You know what we need to do? Just go up, hang out at one of the chateaus up there, and just watch people. Yeah, speak drink some it. cocoa. That's it. Good to go. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, beautiful shot. Downtown Los Angeles. Welcome to the show this evening. Listen, nice day today. Super nice. Clear, cool, beautiful night for the first part of the evening. Then I think we're going to start to bring some clouds into the area. But you can see as we shoot south towards the South Bay right now, it is pretty out there as well. 17 minutes after five. So we had a nice little chill through the overnight period last night. It's that time of year in November where it just gets like that. If we don't pick up any cloud cover, it really allows things to cool out in the evening hours. 66 degrees. West winds at five right now. Humidity right at 68 percent. We are at 72 today. Five degrees cooler, just like I thought we would be yesterday. And lo and behold, that came to fruition. 68 right now. San Bernardino. Remember yesterday we had a few 70s out there. There's the temperature change, about five degrees cooler from yesterday. Fullerton. Good evening. Four. Good afternoon. Four degrees cooler. Three degrees cooler down towards Santa Ana, and about four degrees warmer up into Big Bear. So we're still picking up some onshore winds. That's going to continue through. Probably the first half of the weekend, then we'll kind of shut the door on it just a little bit, and that will allow temperatures start to coming up. So high pressure moves off. The lows there, we have series of fronts that are going to move through the area. These are dry fronts, but what it'll do tomorrow is increase the cloud cover, give us a little more marine layer. You could see some drizzle, but all this action stays up to the north. Breezy conditions, though, as these fronts kind of push through the area, will give us these winds out of the north northwest. That's why I think we'll probably kick up an eddy tomorrow morning that could produce some overcast marine layers. Certainly some mid level clouds. We'll begin to stream through the area and that will start to cloud things up for us throughout the day tomorrow. So I think we start it fairly clear late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We'll start to pick it up. But look at the temperature tomorrow 70 to 71, about 71 on Saturday. Then we watch this ridge start to build in Sunday and Monday. It's a flat ridge. Not strong enough really to kick things up. And then the beaches look great. 68, it's cool, but this time of year, just a nice day at the sand. 69 by Sunday, uh, 72 on Monday, and then we'll come back down again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's a little ride up and down for the valleys. Really nice. Warm spot tomorrow, 74. Same for Saturday. Then we'll come up Sunday and Monday, 76 to 78 there. For the IE, 73 tomorrow, that'll be the warm spot. Farther out to the east, 74 on Saturday, and we bump up a little bit Sunday into Monday and then start to come right back down. That's the day that we start to turn off that onshore push. That'll allow Saturday and Sunday to warm things up a little bit for the high desert 71. Mountains coming in at 66, doing with some high clouds up there. Slight, and I do mean slight, maybe a 10% chance of a shower somewhere, but I don't even think that's going to materialize. But I'm just throwing it in there because, Pat and Rick, I hate getting yelled at <laughs> when I'm like, on the street corner trying to sell pencils and things like that. People oh. yell at me all the time. It's not good. Well, we, all right. 